And now, Alice Augusta Ball. Alice was born in Seattle, Washington on July 24, 1892. Her father was an accomplished newspaper editor, photographer, and attorney. Her mother was an outstanding photographer along with her grandfather, James Presley Ball Sr., who was a free man of color, abolitionist, and a premier photographer himself. In the same year of Alice's birth, the family came to Seattle from Montana and established the Globe Photo Studio in present-day downtown Seattle. In short order, the business became successful, moved locations, and her mother took over the primary duties along with Alice's older brothers. The family established a residence at 24th Avenue and Union Street in the Central District of Seattle, the heart of a relatively tiny black community. Little is known about Alice during her early years, except she was one of four in this multi-generational household. A household whose professional pursuits gave her exposure to many people and places. Alice would go on to graduate with honors from Seattle High School in 1910 and matriculate to the University of Washington. There she earned two degrees. Soon after graduation, Alice co-authored a paper entitled Benzoylations and Ether Solution, which appeared in the Journal of the American Chemical Society. Her article appeared in the October edition in 1914. She was just 22. It helped her earn a full scholarship to the College of Hawaii, now known as the University of Hawaii. Alice stayed busy but still completed her master's degree in chemistry the following year. In doing so, she became the first woman and African American to receive this honor in Hawaii. Alice was offered a teaching position and became the first female and African American professor at the school. She had also attracted the attention of Honolulu's medical community and was soon recruited by a prominent doctor on the island, Dr. Harry T. Holman. He needed help in extracting the active ingredients from the fruit of the chamugra tree. The oil had been discovered to give relief to patients of leprosy, but the injections proved too painful for most, and ingesting the oil caused many to regurgitate. Leprosy victims in Hawaii and elsewhere suffered the double injustice of social stigma and the painful effects of the disease, including ulcers, facial lesions, and deformed limbs. Alice was more than up for the challenge. In less than a year, Ball developed a technique that would allow the oil from the chalmugra tree seeds to become injectable and absorbable by the body. Her newly developed technique involved isolating ethyl ester compounds from the fatty acids of the chalmugra oil. This isolation technique, known as the Ball method, became the only treatment for Henson's disease that was effective and was the standard for the next three decades. Unfortunately, while giving a lecture on proper use of a gas mask during the fall of 1916, with World War I upon them, Alice inhaled chlorine gases, which poisoned and damaged her lungs and body. Alice departed Hawaii aboard a ship bound for Seattle on October 13, 1916. Two months later, on the 31st of December, Alice died. At her passing, neither she nor her family fully realized the great deed she had done for humanity. Alice's work would help ease the pain of thousands who suffered from Henson's disease and lead the way for future scientists to develop other treatments. Until the 2000s, these accomplishments and her name were virtually unknown. Dr. Dean, president of the College of Hawaii, who had praised and encouraged Alice while she was at the school, completely forgot her once she left. He continued Ball's study and led her process through trials but took all credit once it became a certified success. Alice would never appear in any of his writings, even though she helped push his legacy forward. If not for the work of Dr. Catherine Waddell Takara, Associate Professor of Ethics Studies, and Stan Ali, a former federal worker and capable researcher, Alice's name may have been lost forever. Thanks to these individuals, she was finally recognized by the university and the scientific world for her achievements. On February 29, 2000, the state of Hawaii recognized its first Alice Ball Day. 
the University of Hawaii honored her as the first female graduate and pioneering chemist at the school by placing a lone chalmugra tree with a plaque on campus. Many accolades are now coming long overdue to Alice. Google her name and you can see them. Congratulations, Alice. Well-deserved and not forgotten. Thanks for listening.